Hey, good morning, everybody. C-Mac, Blackstone Boys. Hey, uh, our friends at uh, Art of Flame sent me something yesterday. What's that? More to come. Hey everybody, what's going on? C-Mac here from the Blackstone Boys. So, it's beautiful, semi-early morning here in New England. And uh, I got uh, I got a box in the mail yesterday, or actually from Brown Santa, from UPS. This box right here, big old box, from my friends at Art of Flame. So, uh, I'm gonna pop it open, let's see what we got. Okay. That here's what we got. So this is Art of Flame's new side table for the Art of Flame grills. These actually, this is one section. It can be up to four interlocking sections, but this is going to be really cool. This is uh, something that is kind of missing on the on the grill, unless you have a table next door. So. We're gonna see if I can install this by myself. No one else is home today. I wanna to get it on and try it out. So let's go down to the grill and see if we can get this thing done. Okay, so speaking of accessories, you can see I've got the vinyl cover on. Um, Art of Flame is tough enough, so you can leave this sucker out in all kinds of weather, but it is kind of nice if you're not gonna be cooking for a few days to be able to put that vinyl cover on. As you can see, we're under some trees and so it just helps keep it a little cleaner. Stuff out of the inside. Let's take that off and we'll work on getting this uh, side shelf on. All right, come on. Okay, it's on. So, um, what you probably saw from the installation procedure, I did need to get uh, my neighbor, Tom, to give me a hand. I was hoping I could kind of lift it with the lifter from one side, but when you try to do that with the top, the, the fire bowl kind of shifts. So it's really a two person job, which is fine. And then once you get it up, very easy to slip right in there, the little hooks, locked down and as you can see we've got now a side shelf yeah sturdy you know it's 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 really made to be able to put some tongs on there and uh a little prep again they are interlocking so you could could put two more four, three more have it all the way around if you wanted but i think that's going to be really handy so we're going to come back a little bit later uh as you can see i'm still doing some seasoning got some patches but that's okay it's just like cast iron or blackstone you the more you cook on it the more seasoned it gets but this thing's performing like a champ so we'll do a little cook on it later utilize the little side table come on back with us in a few thanks hey guys so welcome back so it is uh know, a little after one decided that i'm gonna cook up a little late lunch so I have some leftovers for dinner tonight because we're supposed to get some thunderstorms. So I've um, got the, uh, the Art of Flame fired up. We'll hit that in a second. For today, I've got this beautiful, fresh bluefin, big chunk of bluefin tuna, some shishito peppers. Just gonna hit those with some olive oil and some Himalayan pink salt and we'll blister those on the Art of Flame. And I think I'm gonna, with the, uh, with the tuna, gonna make some uh, tacos or some wraps. Let's check out what we got going on, Mr. Art of Flame. So the other cool thing about this is you might see, I've got all the you know, coals pushed to one side. So I'm not doing a big cook. 
and so it doesn't make sense to heat up the whole thing uh, or to use a ton of wood so just got it uh, pretty much this area right here will will cook in and uh, as you can see got the side shelf on you got a little uh, silicone uh, utensil rest just to kind of keep it cleaner you gotta have the, the beer on there too so it's kind of it got a little warm but not overly hot it's a little hotter close to where the heat source is obviously but not bad at all but it does give a little extra room to uh, to rest some tools again to have your beer there which is very important you can't cook without a beer so I think yeah we're almost ready we're gonna sear that big chunk of tuna up blister those peppers and uh, have a little uh, midday snack all right let me get the food on and uh, we'll be right back all right let's get a little oil down oh yeah we got some good heat as you can see that'll help sear that ahi nicely blister those peppers and helps continue to season the art of flame. The more you cook on it, the better it gets. Whoops. Mm. Come on. Hear that sizzle? Now the trick with these is, how do we get them on here without losing too many of them? Okay, where's one soldier dead? All right, not bad, not bad. We only lost one. I don't have the grill on right now. That would have helped, but it's all good. So I'm gonna sear this guy. Uh, probably a little bit more cooked because it's so thick. Leave it on a little bit longer than I normally would. salt on the peppers so if you guys haven't had shishito peppers they're fantastic I think they're kind of known as the Russian roulette of peppers because most of them are very mild but like one out of ten will sneak up on you with a lot of heat yeah so that's what you want to do you don't want to overcook these guys, you want them nice and blistered. And they are fantastic. So you get that nice char, blistered skin. So we got good heat even coming around this side. So you can kind of tell where it's a little cooler because again, we've just got the wood pretty much on that one side, so. Let's take a look here. All right, we got a nice, nice crust. Because this guy's so thick, I'm actually going to, uh, I'm gonna probably do all sides. All right, so listen, back to the side shelf. It's already coming in handy. Not only do I have my oil, some tongs, and some spatulas there, but I've got my GoPro filming on it. Uh, I, I probably would not do that if, if I was heating all the way around, because I can already feel some heat on the, on the side table, but I'll tell you what, that, that's money. That comes in real, real handy. So, Art of Flame owners, if you don't have one, again, you can fit, on my 40 inch, you can fit four all the way around the interlock. I got one on right now, might have to get a second one. Only thing that you also gotta remember is, I've got a vinyl cover for this, so obviously the vinyl cover will not fit on when you've got the side shelf or side shelves on. 
which is okay. It doesn't need to be covered, but again, it's handy if yours is like where mine is under trees. These peppers are looking tasty. So again, I'll get those all blistered. Then I will probably hit them with a little bit more salt. When you hit these with salt, those are nice and hot coming off the grill. It just soaks up all that salty Himalayan salt goodness. I know you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's flip this guy on its side. Move it over here. And with the Art of Flame, just like any flat top, scrape that stuff. The cool thing about the Art of Flame is you scrape it right in the fire pit. All good. No muss, no fuss. I'm pretty impressed that I have I've only lost one Shishido to the fire gods. Ah, uh, yeah. Those guys. Those are going to be tasty. Let's flip this on here again. So again, one of the coolest things about the Art of Flame, besides the look of it and the way it cooks, is it's kind of built as a communal cooker. So you can have four or five people standing around all cooking their steaks however they want it. We're still trying to be careful here in the middle of the pandemic but pretty soon we'll be able to get some fill in with some more people around and that'll be really fun all right that's good on the tuna i've got a little tequila lime rub on it and some sesame seeds so pretty simple and when this is done i'll go and cut it up we'll, we'll throw it in some some wraps and it'll be good to go. Mm. All right, here's the other great thing about the Art of Flame. So get one of these shishitos. Mm. Just throw your stem right in it. Mm. So good. Okay. Let's get this big old block of loveliness off of there and we'll see you back inside as I uh, prep this and get some lunch going so hang out with us we'll be right back Okay, so the good news is it hasn't started raining. Bad news is it's gotten awfully humid. So excuse the uh, sweatiness, but we're finished. We got our uh, blistered and salted shishito peppers. We've got a beautiful seared ahi taco wrap, burrito, whatever you want to call it. It's in a tortilla. So I got some uh, Chopped up some lettuce, some green onions, some tomatoes, and hit it with a little bit of that uh, guacamole salsa, which is awesome, and some sriracha mayo. So we got a lot of flavors going on here. Now let me see how, let's wrap it up from this end. Got some uh, lime on there too. Let's taste this guy. Super fresh bluefin tuna. The shishito peppers. I've had about 10 of them. I haven't got hit with that hot one yet, but they're just so good. Blistered, salty, a little sweet. 
So I'm gonna finish this up before the skies unleash on me. Thanks for joining. If you haven't subscribed, hit the bell, hit the whatever thing you gotta hit. Thanks to Art of Flame for side shelf. It's a, it's a winner. Yeah, another good cook. Have a great day. Thanks for joining.